Okay. So this is the mold. Okay, this is the original mold of the second Trump, Cyrus Trump Tampa coin. And as you can see over here, let's see what we have. Okay, first of all, we, we have over here in Hebrew, Lemalot Shivim Shana, to fulfill 70 years. The original verse, to fulfill 70 years, is when the Jews went out to exile, to the Babylonian exile. They were there for 70 years. And after 70 years, King Cyrus said, God, the Lord of the world, gave me permission to let you, the Jews, come back to the land of Israel. And look what he said. And he charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem. That happened about 2,500 years ago. And now, 70 years for the state of Israel, something happened again. One of the biggest leaders of the world, again, President Donald Trump. And here we see the seal of America. He again recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, of the state of Israel, the people of Israel. And he also built a house in Jerusalem. But we don't want only the embassy. We hope as just as King Cyrus pushed us, the Jewish people, to rebuild the temple, we hope all the 70 nations and President Donald Trump, after he recognized Jerusalem as the spiritual, holy capital of the land of Israel, the state of Israel, he will help us, the Jewish people, rebuild the third temple. And that's why we have the Seal of America, the original Persian Empire. Christianity and Islam and all the monotheism uh, religious has a very, very important role to unify everybody to worship the true living God and to prosper and thrive according to God's will. It's so simple. Do you think that the Vatican uh, Pope Francis he seems to have a similar message. Do you think that the that Rome will go along with this too? Do you think this is no? I, I don't think so. There, in the U.S., there are thirty thousand denominations of Christianities. So, uh, according to what we received, part of them will be part of the redemption. Part of them, no. Uh, it's very, very simple. So, um, whomever will accept to be uh, uh, exactly as the nations, whomever will come as as a person to come to be uh, to worship God he will be part of the redemption as simple as that look at look at look at look around you look at look who's sitting here and where are you from Jamaica. Jamaica and you're from the USA and you're from Argentina Ar Argentina and where are you Guatemala. from Guatemala look at this look at this and we have somebody from India it's unbelievable <coughs> here in the center of Jerusalem I'm surrounded people from other nations, and we're all talking about one thing, of the importance of Jerusalem, and the importance of peace, and the importance of the Gula of redemption. So we're part of a prophetic process. That's what it's all about. And this president, uh -huh. he understood. <coughs> when nobody else understood, he understood we're not talking politics. We're not talking politics. We're talking Torah. We're talking prophets. That's what it's all about. And once we understand it, and I think he understood it, maybe he can't say it, but he knows. And he's pushing us. He's pushing us. And we, the whole world is, there. world is there. Can I ask a... You, Where are you from? England. England, okay. <laughs> yeah, I <think> also. <laughs> Can I ask, you said earlier that some of the temple is ready to be built in a prefab state. Is that true? Do you have part of the temple already built? And, and it's exactly what we said before. It's not enough to pray for the temple. And if you pray for something, you have to believe. And to show that you believe something, you have to do. So that's why we have a lot of vessels made. We have a, a big altar that was made. We have programs and yes, also some of the um, pieces of the temple, like this block itself, can be just transferred exactly like the model we see over here 
15 times bigger than this, and the temple can be built. As Trump says, every nation will keep his language, his culture, <laughs> his beliefs. So let's it's not the globalization. Okay. It's to walk, to walk one God on Temple Mount. What is a Muslim? That's a talk. What is a Muslim? Muslim in the Hebrew world is perfect. Whomever talk to God is perfect. According to the Quran, Ibrahim was Muslim. Um, uh, Moses was mu Muslim. He's was perfect. And uh, they they um, got into a conclusion that the Messiah will be their Mahdi. Mm. Their Mahdi. So whenever I meet Muslims in many countries, I ask, I tell them, who was Muslim according to the Quran? Ibrahim, Abraham, I'm from Ibrahim. Mo Moses, Mo Mo Musa, I'm from Musa, I'm Levi. And the Mashiach, Messiah, will be uh, the Mahdi. So actually our history is the same, our future is the same, so what is the problem now? And this is really, what is the problem? I'm saying that the problem is only the radicals, the, the terrorists. But whenever everybody will um, support building the third temple, uh, everybody, then everybody will prosper because this is what the temple is for, <laughs> for the whole world. So you think that there could be some union between all the religions as Absolutely. part of Absolutely. We already have uni unity, but everybody's afraid from the terrorists. But, um, okay, so this is our job to unify everybody to worship the only true living God uh, in the third temple with all the nations, all the nations that will worship God. Muhammad Hashem will be a king, the one king, and we will unite the whole right. world. So, yes. so you see that Jacob and Esau reuniting in the last days, uh, so Muslims and Jews and Christians would be part of this one world, including some uh, Kabbalistic and uh, Eastern influences, all into one kind of religion in this temple. Is that I won't call it one kind of religion, and one kind of understanding. Like a new way of thinking. It's, it's, it's understanding that there is one God in heaven. So it's kind of a, a new way, a higher consciousness, a higher way it's of exactly, thinking. Exactly. Okay. And uh, at the end of times, everybody will understand that Hashem Echad is one. Okay. God is one. Okay, so, but this is a similar design to, to the third temple and uh, uh, it's a very sort of kingly temple, isn't it? And um, I wanted to ask you, this uh, lamp. So you've got the lamp, that, that would be the lamp, lamp of Queen Helena, who is a Persian, I, you know, I mistakenly thought it was Constance, Constantine's mother, Helena, but this is a Persian Queen Helena. She was very fond of the Jewish people as she converted to Judaism mm -hmm. herself, and the sages liked her very much. And when she wanted to donate something to the temple, so she made this candelabra okay. made, made of gold. Okay. And when the sun used to rise from the east, right. it would hit the, the gold candelabra and the, it would spread the light like symbolically, but not only symbolically, from the temple. So it out. reflects the sun. It reflects the sun. Exactly. As it rises from the east. And this is what we're seeing in this picture over here, right? This. Uh, this is the sun reflection from the lamp of Queen Helena. That's right. And so we've got that kind of Persian thing again. And, and would, is, would it be right to say that there's some element of Kabbalah in, in this temple? Well, the Kabbalah is actually the inner part of the Torah. We have what the Torah tells us and it's written in the Torah. And the Kabbalah is actually what isn't written, but we have to want to understand maybe about little Persia and these all ancient nations, Eastern, Eastern nations, religions. so it's maybe religions. On here it says the Persian Empire. Do you think that this temple could somehow unite Islam, Muslim uh, religion with Christianity and Judaism? Do you think that's... So, so if we're talking about the Persian Empire, we know now that in Iran, which is where Persia is now, there is some different empire, but we talk, we're talking about the original Persian Empire. And yes, even in Iran, we have Iranians who are not Jewish, who want this coin because they understand that, yes, this is the place that will unite the whole world. And yes, the Jewish people 
have the power to unite the whole world. It's not us, not just Jewish the people, but as long as we are talking the words of Hashem, that's what Hashem is. Hashem Echad, Hashem Echad. Hashem is the one which can unite everybody. Messiah will be the judge. He believes that Mashiach Ben David is, is coming he's, he, to, to this ben temple. Mashiach Ben David is very soon and he is a Jew. And it is he's not Jesus. And uh, if the Christians want to hold it, they can hold it. And uh, Mashiach Ben David would potentially be the Messiah that would rule over this unity, uh, this one world unity. The first king we had that was a real king was King David and we know that the king that will be eventually uh, leading the world will also be from Yehuda, like you said Mashiach Ben David. Or eventually the leader of the world will be a king, but not a political king, but a spiritual king that will help all of us uh, understand together what we are supposed to be, do, be doing in this world. Yeah, I mean, Jesus is described as the Lion of the tribe of Judah and the Son of David. Do you think that maybe Jesus, Yeshua, could be the, the true Messiah and we might have maybe a counterfeit that could show up? People will understand. It's like, I don't know, a small kid when you offer him chocolate or an adult. If you offer him money, nobody's going to say no to money, which is something very not spiritual. When we have the right understanding of what's important in the world, it will be obvious to all of us that that's what we want. Everybody will be running after spirituality. So when that time comes, everybody will want it. Okay, so we believe that the false, that the Antichrist will um, actually be the head of this deception before the real Mashiach comes. That's where we, we differ on our thinking at the moment.